guys it's Mathel here once again and today I want to show you a sort of little project or build I've started up in the past a day or two which I just had sort of an idea for a dream feather spectral throw physical type build essentially I wanted to just roll with two dream feathers stack a bunch of evasion go some poison and added chaos and see where it would take me I decided spectral throw or lacerate were my best two bets and for this setup, I wanted to go maximum prettiness, and that involved grabbing a Goddess Unleashed for the skin transfer, as well as a Goddess uh, Scorned for a skin transfer, because I didn't quite get sold on just strictly one or the other. So I wanted to try both out, and the Rave Saber was born. So in this setup right now, we just hit Dried Lake, I'm something like level 70, and I've put on a Goddess Unleashed and a Goddess Scorned on both of my Dream Feathers, and currently running Spectral Throw as a Pathfinder with Poison, Added Chaos, and basically just stacking some Fizz and some Chaos Damage to see the character you are current, or to do the character you're currently seeing, which for what it is, is actually working out quite alright at this stage. There's basically almost no currency invested in it so far, and at level 70 we took down its eerie pretty comfortably, and it should get a little bit better in the long run, but I was very skeptical as to the damage output of this build when I first thought about it, because uh, as a non-crit, and most of my damage source coming from added chaos, I really wasn't sure what I'd be doing and if I'd be doing enough. But at this stage, as a Pathfinder, I'm stacking evasion and I've got about 50,000 evasion with all my flasks up, meaning that's about 100% increased attack damage per Dream Feather, so 200% going straight toward the added chaos. And then once you start stacking your um, totem bro, who currently isn't linked very well, as well as slow proj, you're using your um, vulnerability, getting all that going, it still is very effective on poison, and it should only get better. Who knows, maybe this piece of shit build can even take down Uber at Siri. But mostly what I wanted to share with you guys was the Rave Sabers, because they are actually very pretty and a contender for Spectral Throw um, Seraph, Spectral Throw MTX, also known as the Buzzsaw. That's what we've been using all this time. Hardly anything ever replaces it. But Rave Sabers? I don't know, guys. I'm pretty sold on these. I don't think I'm going to be putting on an MTX anytime soon. And uh, yeah, we're hitting about the same sort of attack speeds as the old Buzzsaw builds used to, which is about 6 or 7 attacks per second, which is pretty damn hard to reach these days because uh, you can't get 2.13 speed foils, you can't get haste, or you don't really use haste anymore. And uh, yeah, the build's been a lot of fun. It's quite budget at this stage, but you know, if Dream Feathers go up in price for some retarded reason, then it might not be that budget anymore. But that said, I'm not even sure Dream Feathers are the best thing for this build. In the coming couple of days, I'm going to be trying to beef this character out and find out if Spectral Throw is the best thing, if Lacerate is the best thing, if Dream Feathers are even necessary for this type of setup, or if I just want to use two regular physical swords, maybe some swords with um, added Chaos Rod onto them. Who knows? Got a lot to test out this character, currently around level 70, so don't look too much into it. It's just a concept for now, and some pretty fucking lightsabers being thrown all over your screen. If you want to do something similar, check out my character profile, but I will probably have another update about this one in the next couple days when I figure more out. In the meantime, thanks for watching, see you next time, and have a good day.